coming off the bench in that Italy game. Impressing enough to get the nod and start here this afternoon. He will start out on the left, Mohamed Damar in the middle. Mika Bauer out on the right wing. And the number nine, KK Top, leading the line for the German under-19 team here. As for the visitors from Belgium, Piersmann in goal, Paulo da Silva at left back, Lage and Spiliers in central defence with Sagrado in the right back position. And three across central midfield from left to right, Gods, Vermeeren and Mbamba. And then a front three with Mbangula on the left, Stroikens in the middle and Romeo Vermont out on the right. Germany playing from left to right here in the first 45. And on the ball now. Here is Namdi Collins. Borussia Dortmund youngster. To send the ball forward, takes a deflection out for a Germany throw taken by Kizilovsky. Decent amount of rain pouring down here before kickoff. Seems to have let up a little bit now. Certainly will uh, make the conditions a little more difficult, perhaps for the goalkeepers especially. Hopeful ball over the top there, but no one really in and around it to latch on to it. Thiago Paulo da Silva back to Bram Lage. Now Jonas Pilers. We can expect uh, perhaps a, a cautious approach at the start of this game from both teams. Uh, there's so much to play for, of course. The other side will be looking to concede early. Collins sends the ball upfield, but floats out of play there. Foul throw there from Paulo da Silva. Handing possession back to Germany. Good pressure on Piresman there, who sliced his clearance out of play. That's for Germany here to try and put some pressure on the Belgian defence. Inside the first few minutes. There's Daniel Bunk. Ball out wide to Linus Gechter. Now Ulrich. Looking to combine with Yusuf Kabadai. Kabadai, a very impressive when he came on as a substitute. In that game against Italy, a game where. Italians uh, took a two-goal lead. Germany showing a real character, though, to get back on level terms, and then bitter disappointment. And Italy scored the winner late into the second half. It's been a tough pill to swallow for the German side. A little dink inside. Chance here. Ooh, that will be a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area as well. Noah Mbamba brought down. Just as he was trying to get the ball out from underneath his feet into a sort of shooting position. Hacked down in the process. And now Belgium a free kick in a, a very dangerous position. 
This close to goal can sometimes make it a little bit more difficult to get it up and over the wall. And then down again. And a very wet surface. Frank Feller is going to have to be wary here. easily be hit hard and low as well. And Bangula tries to curl it round but too many bodies in the way. Able to collect it again here on this left flank. Quickly closed down. That's very good defending indeed and Germany winning the free kick. Great work there from the captain Uma Tomchu. Germany getting away with that one. Almost nicked away by Samuel Mbangula. As expected, both teams just feeling each other out a little at the moment. Fell under pressure there straight away. Stays calm. Now, Gesta, one ball forward. It's like pushing the back there, according to the referee, I think. with a free kick just inside their own half. Germany's <laughs> <laughs> third and uh, final game on the 28th. Three days from now. Slovenia. Slovenia yet to concede here in the elite round with two games played for them anyway. Yet to score a goal as well. Belgium still looking for their first goal in the elite round. Okay, top. Gonna have the body strength there to stay on his feet, but can't come away with the ball. Does come away with the throw. For Germany. Bad idea there from uh, Yusuf Kabadai. That switch of play from left to right. Kazanovsky, the intended target, but this wet and slippy surface, it's going to have to be a precision game when it comes to long balls like that. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to latch onto them. 
as the rain now starting to just pick up again to make life even more difficult. there with the challenge it's a free kick in the end looks like he might have played the ball but perhaps a little too aggressive with the tackle Decent build-up play here and fizzed across the face of goal. Frank Feller looking to try and get a hand to it. Belgium looking dangerous here. And able to keep the pressure on and Bamba able to turn. Still and Bamba onto his left and that's a good save. And Frank Feller. To say Noah Mbamba has looked impressive already in central midfield. It's not the first time he's been able to carry the ball with him on the spin and into a promising final third. Bamba, of course, does play his trade in Germany with uh, Bayern 04 Leverkusen. Oh, rain pouring down, wind picking up as well. center but no one there to pick up the pieces Nandy Collins under pressure straight away on Vermont KK top just leaning in there Chance here perhaps, Mohamed Damar 
out wide. Here is uh, Kabadai. Well defended in the end from uh, Richie Sagrado. And pace to get back and get the tackle in. First real half chance for Germany. A risky challenge to be making, but it was required. Corner taken quickly in towards the near post, and there is kick it up with a fantastic header in off the crossbar. A tremendous leap there from the Germany number nine, towering above everyone else in the box. And then a classy finish as well. Just glances it off uh, towards the back post. Didn't need to find it though. In off the crossbar. Nothing uh, Kiel Piersman could do in goal. Really well taken header. And he guides it in off the woodwork. And Germany have their lead. KK Top, the number nine. Doing exactly what is required of him up front. And that is finding the back of uh, the net. Not for the first time. That's his seventh goal in his tenth appearance for the under-19s. This is fantastic goal tally. Continues to rack them up. And with that Germany goal. Rain starting to settle a little. Sunshine coming through as well. in possession there break is on now for Belgium couldn't do anything with it Germany looking to break back the other way immediately Delmar, good ball back into the middle Kisilowski just misreading the situation slightly there but KK top does well still KK top going to bulldoze his way through the middle Just a little too aggressive there once more. Crossing towards the back post. A bad idea. Both at top and at a cover die. Lurking in and around that area. Slightly better ball and Germany could have been in with another goal there. Gotts, a oh, clever little ball there. In between the lines was looking for Sagrado. Far away from finding him. It was actually Mbangula who'd made the run. Another look at that half chance. Great vision there. And Mika Goetz just couldn't time it to the movement path of Samuel Mbangula. Collins sends the ball upfield. Top pushes it down. Can't find the teammates. <laughs> Free kick. It's Belgium's way, not quite sure why. Signalling there was a push, looked more like two Belgian players crashing into each other for me, but nevertheless, game continues.
unfortunate there, Mohamed Damar. Just uh, losing his footing. A slippy surface there on the spin. Shame, really, the break was on. Should be a Germany throw. Decision going against them. Damart just uh, pulling Paulo da Silva to the ground there. Belgium with a free kick and a chance to swing one into the box from a wide position. the cross not exactly clear by Germany Frank Feller just misjudging that one slightly as he came out to try and punch it away missing the ball completely Belgium with the corner with it though So far, so good for Guido Streisbier's side. It's been uh, straightforward by any means, Belgium. Having uh, missing moments of their own, unable to capitalize on any of them so far. Competitive game. With 23 minutes gone. Germany with that one goal cushion to work with, though. Able to keep that one in play, Namdi Collins. Okay, enough. Hey. Stop. Free kick. Going out of Belgium's way. Again, coming together there between Mandy Collins and Romeo Vermont. It's only been a physical encounter so far as well, but a fair one. Too wild as of yet. It's not the first time we've seen KK Top flick the wee uh, long clearance on. Hasn't really had too much support in the form of runners in and around him. Oh, oh, oh. 
Stay on a slippy surface. I don't think that would be encouraged. Any sort of a flick on. Very difficult for a defender to deal with. Well-timed run and could be in on goal. with the ball into the middle easily dealt with though can kick it top the only player forward really available and a heavy pass through the middle allows Frank Feller to come out and collect with ease Limus Gechter Gechter once more told to uh, get back on his feet and Collins back to Fedla one thing that has been noticeable haven't seen too many extended periods of possession for either team and cross in and that's an important defensive header that plenty of options in the box really good delivery Bram Lage positioned well to just glance it away from danger It's up. Lovely little uh, dink inside and very nearly a chance for Mohamed Damar. Just couldn't find the space or time to pull the trigger there. Now Belgium looking to transition into an attack of their own. Germany able to get bodies back and behind the ball though. Well defended by Collins. Zilowski. Side flag was up. <laughs> Zilowski just catching Gortz there. Fans at least able to uh, put the umbrellas and plastic bags away. Enjoy a bit of sunshine. Oh, it's a penalty for Belgium. Referee wasted no time in pointing to the spot there as well. Convinced immediately that it was a foul. And Lucas Ulrich, the uh, guilty party. Whether or not he got a touch on the ball, difficult to see from that angle. He certainly thought he did. But it won't matter. Romeo Vermont now with a chance to get Belgium back on level terms from the penalty spot. And 
Hermansa puts it straight down at the middle to make it 1-1. Straight in goal to concede for Belgium. Or for Germany, excuse me. Massive goal for Belgium. First of the elite round and it comes from the spot rather than from open play. Vermont. <laughs> to see his teammates uh, come and celebrate with him. It's all quite as willing. Initially, where are they? A quarter of an hour still to go in this first 45. surrounded goes down wanting a free kick won't get it but a throw will suffice Mika Bauer inside to Gechter switch a play out onto the left and back into the middle here's Yusuf Kaladai a bad idea Looking for Mohamed Damar, who'd made a run in towards that back post. Nikabawa unable to find him with the delivery. Damar on top able to do anything with the ball when it came his way it was quickly surrounded in the back of the goal scorer Romeo Vermont it's not the first time he's been penalised for that so he's going to have to be careful now otherwise he will go into the book Lage Stroikens Clearance from uh, Kiel Pirisma. Oh, 
Playing a simple ball there. Tries to switch it. Didn't quite come off. And now Belgium on the breakaway. Lamont has gone down in the box here. Looks like he's gone over on his ankle. Bangula with the shot. now with the corner Maybe in Bangala to take it from the far side Pressure there, Richie Sagrado. It's a ball out of play. Now Germany to just relieve the pressure a little there. Kizilowski. One two with Daniel Bunk. Now Namdi Collins. Decides to go back to Fella. Little layoff. And just puts it a little too far forward there, Yusuf Kabadai. Heavy challenge from Mika Bauer, but plays the ball it back as well Germany looking to finish the half strong and a bad ball there from Yusuf Kabadai decent little spell this for Germany Ball there, though, from Daniel Bunk. Looking for the use of uh, Kabadai out on that left flank. A little too close for Kiel Pedersman in the end. Top penalised there. Not sure if it was for a foul or for offside. He didn't look like he was coming back from an offside position there, but also didn't really look like he was impeding anyone. Strange one that. from Vermont Gives the ball back but can't do anything with it great hold up player from Kiki top the worst ball either just 
a little too much mustard on it. Kisilovsky doing his best to try and get it there, but Piersman getting there first. Tempo seems to just have been increased from both sides here. He's five, six minutes. Germany will probably feel he had done enough to go into the break. One nothing up and in the lead, but it's quite worked out that way for them. Questions asked as to whether or not it should have been a penalty for Belgium. It looked like a bit of a soft one for me, but it was difficult to see from the angles provided. The referee was convinced straight away. The linesman on that far side probably had the best look at it decision might have come from him a cushioned header back there from Lucas Ulrich ball very decent in towards that near post lovely cross from Paulo da Silva and there was Romeo Vermont again Doing his best to try and get a front of his defender and a cross towards that near post does get a touch on it but I think Frank Feller makes a really good save there we've had to react very late indeed with the corner this is a deep one a little too deep in the end for Jonas Bilius there's a cheeky little dink over the top there from Paolo da Silva catching the German back line a little off guard I think Mika Gotz realised how much time and space he had could have perhaps taken it down before Getting a shot off. Infringement off the ball there. Picked up by the referee or the linesman. towards the half-time whistle nothing to separate these two sides so far dreadful weather to get things underway we have had goals at either end Collins comes out to make the challenge well Tunju the pressure. Kester there in support. Germany with the throw. Uh, a little too much to say. Warning to the referee, just given a warning.
out of play. Well, plenty of positives to take from the first half. Oh, Guido Streichspiel is uh, Germany under 19s. Definitely uh, room for improvement as well. is a clinical as I'm sure he'd like in the final third of course difficult conditions as well have to be taken into account on the ball Germany have looked a little more settled of the two slightly better with the uh, ball retention just uh, lacking that little bit of spark or creativity in the final third Kick a top and, uh, to feed on uh, scraps here and there as well. Could do with a little bit more support at times, but overall, still in, uh, in a good position here to come away with all three points at the end of it all. We'll have to see how it all unfolds in the second half. So one apiece here at the break in Bremen between Germany and Belgium. The second 45 is just around the corner. Germany will be looking to secure a win here to give themselves a chance of qualifying for the finals in the summer. Still work to do, but plenty of time to do it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with that second half as we leave you with the highlights from the first.
zurück hier. So, warm welcome back for the second half here in Bremen. One apiece between Germany and Belgium. Germany need to win if they want to stand any chance of finishing top of Group 2 here in the Elite Round. And with that, making it through to the finals in the summer. Having lost their opening game to Italy, they currently sit top of the group on four points with a win and a draw. It's a good start to the game from Germany. A great header to give them the lead from Kiki Top, their number nine. Belgium getting themselves back into it from the penalty spot. And then after the equaliser, there's a bit of a scrappy encounter. Pretty evenly matched from there on out. So it'll be interesting to see how the second half unfolds. Doesn't look like either team has decided to make any changes just yet. I'm sure we can expect some at some stage here in the second 45. Germany now playing from right to left. No more rain, which is good, but the wind certainly has picked up a little. play there from Lukas Ulrich. Players in need of a ball. Does eventually come to Richie Sagrado. Romero. Back to Bram Lage. In through the middle. Belgium trying to combine through the middle. Doesn't work out. And then Germany pick up the free kick. Bamba with the foul on Mohamed Damar there. He's coming through the back of the Germany number 10. Gechter. Daniel Bunk. So good account of himself. Top just leaning into Lage there to give away the uh, free kick. Does have a fantastic physical pres presence, kick it up. Just needs to con learn to control it sometimes. Belgium. The attack. Bit of an aimless pass into the middle there from Samuel and Bangala. As well to hold on to it there. Ships it out wide. Nice Sagrado. Little one two back to Sagrado. Decent cross. Good header away from Tomchu. Kabadai. There's Mika Bawa. Has a bit of time and space. One ball over the top. Looking for Damar, who's able to pluck it out of the air, but push on Bram Lage just before that. There's an end to that attack. A little bit of afters there with Jonas Billiers. The game pretty much picking up where it left off. Decent tempo, nice and physical as well. Teams are desperate for a win. Germany a little more so, though. Belgium with a point already to their name. A draw here wouldn't necessarily be the worst result for them. It would leave them needing a, a win in their final game, which is a little bit of added pressure, of course, but that pressure is something that Germany have on their shoulders here in their second game already, having lost the first. with the header out of play. Guido 
Der Streichspiel does have options on the bench. Likes of Fraundorf, Deal, even Tom Sarney, the little pit bull striker, can cause damage up front. Bamba. Apologise for the uh, technical difficulties there. Lots of picture momentarily. Weather conditions not making life easy for the players or the technical team. Here to whom you this is one through kept in play uh, by Yusuf Kabadai. Ulrich does well to get across it, just can't get quite enough lift on it to get it past the first defender. Germany still on the attack here, though, trying to keep the pressure on. And Ulrich with a handful of. Samuel and Bangalore's shirt sees him pick up a yellow card. First booking of the game. Found a way through there. Yeah, Vermont. Angola, happy to let that one run out of play. That's fallen kindly for Bangala here. Tries to get the cross in, it's blocked by Daniel Bunk, who does well to get across. Germany will have to defend the corner here. Some nasty clouds looming in the background there, hopefully. Making their way away from uh, the pitch rather than towards it. Chance here for Belgium, but it's put up and over. It's going to be a goal kick. They wanted a corner. Mario Stroikens. And the trigger from the edge of the box there. It did look like it took a deflection, but I think it came off Romeo Vermont. So well spotted by the referee. Good opportunity nonetheless there for Belgium. Ball, Kabadai. One on one with Sagrado. Tries to cut back inside. Yeah, 
Belgium looking to break quickly. They weren't able to uh, recover. Mika Gortz, should I say, excuse me. Lamont waiting in the middle. Gortz does enough to win the corner. It's a promising start to the second half for Belgium. Starting to rack up opportunities to take the lead. Mika Gotts to uh, take it from the far side. The right footed in swinger. A lot of height on that one. Too much height for everyone. And Belgium are going to keep the high press going here attempt to try and win the ball back inside the German half. Out of play by Ulrich. Space to work with that. Belgium lay off by top. Tonju. Good ball over the top. That's well defended though. Oliver Merden had to watch that one all the way. And put out of play by Daniel Bunk in the end. the yellow card for Linus Gester was warned about those pushes in the back in the first half especially towards the end of it the referee feels like he's seen enough so second German player to go into the book down this time. You just feel like the momentum is with the Belgian team. And then at the moment, decisions often are not going their way. A little more dangerous going forward. A player down here for Belgium, Germany. The attack though, Ulrich looking to get the shot off. Oh, can't get any lift on it. Finds it hard and low and into his teammate. Now Belgium looking to break the other way. Well read by Collins, but Belgium still in possession here. Bangla. Now Stroikens. Now wide, here's Sagrado. This is one hard and low, it's picked up and a oh, golden opportunity there for Mika Godz. Just leaning back on that effort and sends it up and over. Uh, Guido Streisbier deciding it's time to make a change, it's Mika Bauer 
coming off. Justin Deal coming on to replace him. So Deal in a fullback position. When he came on against Italy. And chances to score as well. He's in a slightly more forward midfield position here now. Looks like he's taking up the left wing here himself into some great goal scoring positions against Italy and he do the same perhaps with a better end product here against Belgium now The uh, foul on Stroikens there. Oh, then is right to put the pressure on. Has to be careful as well to whom to. footwork and close control great ball out wide here's Justin Deal can he get the shot off yes he can doesn't quite make the contact he was looking for though slightly miss hitting it down and into the ground as well and straight down the middle either side of the keeper and he might have been in with a shout but again gets himself into a good spot from Deal. Turns you there to help him out but Stroikens does ever so well. Under pressure, heavy touch. Allows the tackle to be made. And Deal has already made an impact since coming on. Has offered Germany something a little different on this left side. Damar quite on the same page there. Still hoping for a run down the touchline. Out wide, Damar. Other plans heading back into the centre. Well by Dama. Here's Kabadai. Still Kabadai takes the shot on. Had options in the middle. Oops, not the best decision. To go for goal himself from that angle. And plenty of bodies forward. More Germany, but not utilized there by Yusuf Kabadai. though for Germany since the substitution looking 
getting stronger and stronger. Up the free kick there as well. The man with a right, foul on kick it up. Chance for Germany to swing one into the box here. It's getting quite windy out there now. So interesting to see what that does to the uh, flight of the ball from set pieces like this. Here comes the delivery. It's not a bad one. It's fallen kindly, and somehow that is cleared off the line. It's Linus Gechter, I think, who gets the shot off. Taken quickly and short. Another good cross in. Yeah, it's only as far as Tom Chu who can't hold on to it. And now Belgium looking to break themselves. Stroikens with the ball out wide for Gutz. Good hold up play from Kick It Top. It forward for Ulrich. A big tackle from Richie Sagrado. Here's another look at the opportunity. Great ball in. I think it's Gesta who gets the headed flick on and then covered up with the left footed effort. Cleared off the line. Damar. Have a die. Keshta with the delivery in towards top. Well, he knows he should be doing better there. Difficult one because he did have the man right in front of him. I think he probably expected the Belgian to maybe get something on that. And then when he didn't, couldn't really react in time. It was actually Bram Lage just in front of him. Tremendous header in the first half. You would have bet your house on him. Finding the target a little better that time round. Germany definitely an improvement in their performance. Start of the second half was a little up and down, really, but they've started to just settle into this second 45 now. And, uh, the last five to ten minutes have been the team on top. to show for it yet though Collins happy to let that one uh, fall to his keeper right surface doesn't necessarily make that easy especially with Romeo Vermont lurking around as well ball over the top there from Collins change of their own ready now it's like the Andre Kuavita coming on half chance there for Belgium Zambamba coming in to try it toe poke something home from a close range as they 
Seeing a header helped it on into his path. It's colliding there with Kizilowski. Double substitution. Norman Bassett coming on as well as Leandre Kuavita. Kuavita replacing Mbamba in that central midfield position. ball in there from Bangula. Led at the near post well. Rain pouring down yet again. 20 minutes still to go. Germany need a win here, remember. Need to stand any chance of finishing top of the group. Die. Trying to find uh, Justin Deal there at the back post. King Persman able to come and collect the ball. Vermont to Sagrado. And defend it. It's just in deal. Link up play here. And he's powering forward. Oh, Germany. Kick it top. Still top. Trying to get the ball into the middle, but it's too close to Pearsman again. Did well to create the space for the cross, but just couldn't quite wrap his left boot around it. Off the outside and therefore always traveling towards the keeper rather than to a teammate. it similar situation at the other end Ah, difficult one there, just bounced off the surface just before it reached just in deal there. Not a bad idea from Tumchu. there from Tomchu. Difficult one to take as well on the half volley. You can ask for your players is to try and get it on target there and he certainly did that. Forcing the save on Piersma. Germany with the corner. In the meantime, I think Nicolo Tresoldi might have come on. Yeah, he has. 
Not sure who he's replaced. I'll try and get that information to you. Substitution was made just before that corner. There is Nicolò Tresoldi closing down up front. Looks like it might have been Kike Top who's been sacrificed. Have to wait and see. Still to go. Both teams desperately looking for a winner here. to try and win a corner I think and the pressure Keeps holding on to the ball for a little too long and will give away a free kick and pick up a yellow card for his troubles close control there from Mohamed Damat I can confirm it is KK top has come off a straight swap up front uh, Tresoldi now leading the line for Germany. It's Gesta. Taking just a little too long to release the ball there. Fortunately for him, Germany ordered the throw anyway. It's Gesta again. Now you can feel the tension for both teams. Victory for Belgium would see them go level on points with Italy at the top of the group Italy and Belgium face each other on match day three Germany can snatch all three points the second goal here in these final stages and they'll be hoping that Belgium can go on to beat Italy and Germany then hopefully beats Slovenia on match day three we would see Germany finish top of the group and go through to the finals There's still work to be done here before any of that can unfold Too far out wide for Ulrich, who does keep it in play though. And the attack alive. And to create the space for the cross, and does well to win the corner. It was a good delivery. Take the lead in the first half. They 
could use something similar here. That's a good-looking cross, and Namdi Collins with a really good chance there. Just couldn't keep the header down. Right ball. Mohamed Dama. Picked off by Kabadai. Justin Deal tries to centre it for Dama. Does eventually get on the ball to Umchu. Can't get there in time. And now, Belgium looking to counter quickly. Monk spreads it out wide. Here's Kiz Kizilowski. Bunk. Is it Gechte into play? It's about going back to his keeper and thinks again and now powering forward. Germany central defender brought down and that will be a free kick. A clumsy challenge there from Romeo Vermont. Surprised to see him come away without a booking there to be honest. A good opportunity now for Germany. In the dead ball situation. Romay Dama has fizzed in some great balls. Will he go for goal from distance? Might just be a little too far out for a direct effort. With this wet surface, you never know. With the strike, it's a good one as well. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Well, nearly. Looking to just have it bounce off the surface just before it reaches the goalkeeper. He was scrambling to get across there. Kill Pierceman. Happy to see it just fizz wide. Eight minutes uh, plus some stoppage time. Still to go. in that time to the challenge let's get a closer look here looks like he plays the ball he does come in a little heavy Norman Bassett okay. those that can go either way was right under the nose of the referee as well kick this time. They go to the Soldi. Player brought down. <laughs> Damar running into trouble. Pass it to Vermont. wrong with that. Matto Soldi just losing his footing again. Conditions playing a really big role. Stalkins to Sagrado. Bunk. Free kick. Good 
Silva just caught there by Kavadai who picks up a yellow card for that challenge. in play ball into the middle and a golden opportunity second one and off the line great save and a block as well well how Romeo Vermont didn't score there that would have really put an end to Germany's hopes it through to the finals great ball into the middle and then completely misfires there Vermont is able to settle himself again but a second effort's down the middle Frank Feller who would have seen that very late does really well to make that save brought down that will be a free kick Ulrich with almost a bear hugger there and the Belgian goal scorer Mario Stroikens Belgium captain with the free kick Here comes the delivery Header away, just in deal. Tries to carry it forward. Not a bad idea. Not too much else on, to be fair. Lovely ball back inside from Bunk. The ball through to deal, just didn't have enough on it. Allowed Sagrado to make the challenge. Intercept. to turn on Ulrich he's got a problem with his shoulder Stoikens can't find a way through Sagrado with the shots not a bad one either no pace and power on it but quite the accuracy required to beat Frank Feller the goalkeeper taking his time here that Germany don't really have. He's in the header on, picked up by Kabardai. It's going to be a double substitution for both Belgium and Germany here. Tom Rotter and Tom Sun, two players uh, coming on. Guido Streisbier's side. Jan Karnak and Noah Sadiki, the two players coming on for Belgium. In his final few minutes.
Tom Vermeeren and Stroikens, the two players making way. As we edge towards the end of 90 minutes. Probably have a good three or four minutes at least, I would have thought. And they're done. Just unable to keep the ball in play there. Zinovsky. So just three minutes added on. Three minutes left for Germany to try and find a win here. Sane to Rotter. Two substitutes linking up now. Justin Deal on the move. Ships it out wide for Rotter. Sagrado with the tackle. Germany with the throw right by the corner flag. Kabadai. Zilowski with the cross in. Over everyone's head and Deal. Unable to react in time. Apparently Deal with a final touch on the ball. I didn't see it myself. Belgium had been awarded the throw. Taking their time with it as well, which would suggest they're happy to accept just a point here with their luck on match day three against Italy. Break away on now for Samuel Mbangula. Cuts inside. And again, still on the ball here. Don't touch too many perhaps. Oh, keeps it in play. Kazanowski does well. Collins launches it forward. Ah, free kick given away there. Looking to the Soldi on the halfway line. Which will eat up even more time here. Over 30 seconds still to go. Can Germany produce one more chance? Have to get the ball forward quickly. Rotter forward to Sane. Sane in an offside position or coming back from one. There's an end to that attack and perhaps too many hopes for Germany. to get it forward but he's not going to have time to do so there is the final whistle and it ends at one apiece between Germany and Belgium here on match day two in the elite round of this qualification group and it's not the result that Germany were hoping for they wanted three points and they haven't gotten them as for Belgium it's a point that isn't too bad at the end of it all Germany now with just one point on the board two games played they do still have one game left on the 28th three days from now a midday kickoff and will take on Slovenia looking for their first win but it looks like a place in the finals in the summer is no longer up for grabs thank you for joining us today it's what has been another entertaining game here in the under 19 age category sadly not the result we were all hoping for but a an entertaining game and nonetheless make sure you join us for the next one when Germany take on Slovenia on the 28th until then stay safe and take care